Hello, I'm Sacho Luis Noguera Serrano. I am here in Valencia, Spain, at Sidos Jordan and Sidos Juliana's house. I'm studying right now in deep what is the Ijutsu. Ijutsu translates from the Japanese is medicine, but as we have seen in a previous video uh, regarding concerning Carlos Santos, San, it's more related to the therapy of the season. He had explained before about uh, the difference or the different sites, the different uh, knowledge that we have inside Ijutsu, but I am focusing especially into Anma. And as I am an industrial engineer and I like to study all things uh, very detailed and with all explanations, I like also the anthropology and in this way I like to go uh, directly to the origins, to the roots of what it's Anma. Of course in Japan we have uh, several ways of Anma, it's not only one, uh, one lineage or one side that has the Anma as a property. The Anma is the ancient way of the Japanese and especially in our case the season look at the massage therapy, the massage therapy as a way to bring health and to bring a better restoration, a better uh, recovering from an illness. Then uh, we have to look that the season, especially they and the Anma practitioners in origin they were uh, blind people, blind people that has a special sensitivity of how to touch, how to feel what it's uh, especially infected because the season and the uh, and the and the anma practitioners look at the at the at the illness as an infection something that you have to drain out the inflammation this, uh, this infection comes from the unity of body, mind and spirit. Then it's a wide vision that covers all the body's shin as a whole. We have to take in mind that the season live in a very cold environment, especially in winter, because they, are, they have the origin from the Hokkaido uh, island in the north of Japan, the ancient uh, Esho island. Then coming from this side that it's a very cold in winter, they need to find ways for applying this treatment, uh, how to warm uh, the body. Then one of the first and the main secrets of the Anma, it's the study of how to mix the herbal and the plants materials in order to bring uh, some kind of ingredients, some kind of uh, oils in order to apply a warm sensation and to get warm in the joints, the muscles, etc. Then from this, uh, from starting from this study that's called Kusa Jutsu, the the employment of the herbal materials uh, and the mixture of all of them making, uh, bringing cold, warm or neutral sensations, they discover a wide study covering what it packs in order to uh, make, uh, drain the inflammation in one side or applying in order to, to uh, recover from deep wounds, etc. And this is the study of packs, packs packing the, the whole body. Other side that it's very important for applying these health methods that it's not a quick way. Many people understand and mass a weekend method that you could study for a mass massage therapy. And this is not true because the positions and the the study of Anma cover a lot of techniques, a lot of techniques that could be applied in different positions, looking at the patient, looking at the, the therapist, looking at uh, how to, what, 
what is the joint that you are working. If you are working under bones perspective, you will go to the muscle perspective, tendons perspective, uh, all the tissues and skin perspective, blood perspective. It's to say, you have different techniques, different elements, different structures when we are talking about a direct line structure, diagonal line structure, circular structure. It's to say, when we are talking about this animal, we are not covering a simple or easy way for applying uh, a good sensation to the patient. You have to solve what, is, what in the diagnosis you have found. And this is complicated because it's not uh, when you are dealing, especially today, not only in the past, but especially today, you are dealing with the health of the people. It's a very uh, on the ontological uh, side that you have to to understand properly what are the risks, and you have to study in deep with with your master and and the one that knows and has experience how to treat the patient. Then. Uh, dealing with these complex techniques and difficult techniques, thousands of positions, thousands of manipulation techniques, uh, hundreds of hand positions, elbow positions, uh, stretches, tractions, uh, uh, torsions, etc. It's a very, very difficult study that it's also completed by the side of the nutrition side. But of course, it's not a modern perspective. In modern perspective, you have the carbon hydrates, you have the proteins, you have the fats. You have this side that it's more biochemical, uh, biochemistry uh, perspective. And this is not the side, of course, because the ancient, as we are uh, looking, the ancient Indians, the ancient season people, they don't have uh, resources for studying this chemistry part. They need for uh, to look at how the, uh, as we understand that the breathing techniques and the mass therapy, massotherapy techniques interact with the health and interact with the body and the vital energy and all this health of the patient. You have to look how the foods interact with the uh, with the uh, with the patient. Then we have to look at in uh, in uh, foods. We have your foods, is to say, like in yang, nothing related with other nutrition or fooding uh, perspective or studies in Japan. It's a very very singular a very particular season study regarding what it's in, what is young, what are uh, the warmer, the warm, the neutral, the, the, the middle and the colder uh, elements, the colder uh, foods in order to reestablish, but not like balancing the body because this is not a perspective of the season that commonly have the eastern uh, medicine. It's especially with how to drain out the inflammation, how to drain out the infection, as we have explained before. Then the ANMA covers all these message techniques, but not as a way of bringing a good sensation, as a way of feeling better, not only by, by the, the contact of the hands, the contact of the skin, of the therapist, but also bringing a readjustment, a refixing uh, the body of the bones, the muscles, the skin, and applying this kind of direct contact that brings a restoration of the body and the health of the patient that is suffering some kind of illness. Uh, of course, we have to be very very clear with that we are not bringing some kind of divine method or some kind of uh, how to say uh, this is not the panacea this is not something 
that it's uh, the, the final medicine and the final solution for everything. It's not the way, of course. We are limited by unseen methods and unseen limitations and the only thing that we could do is only to bring uh, to a better recovery in case of illness and not, of course, solving anything that our regular uh, nowadays uh, doctor cannot solve. Then, uh, despite of this, of course, we are treating of a deep study that covers thousands and thousands of positions, techniques that have to be very careful apply de depending on of, of, the, of the patient that we have. We have to be careful and, be, and have the experience of how to treat everyone because everybody it's a world, is to say, it's a universe. Uh, we cannot uh, treat uh, the, the illness but treating the, the ill people uh, as a single one. We have to take in mind all of this. Then with this we have making a, a general vision, a big picture of what it's these ANMA studies and what are what I am dedicating especially and focusing especially uh, today. Thank you very much.